Hi there. So this is uh, a little review of the nice kit for the QRP Pixie 40 meter transceiver, which is uh, bought from an uh, eBay uh, auction. It's a very nice small PCB, very well made, and uh, runs about uh, 200 milliwatts on 40 meters on 7.023 megahertz and uh, I'm going to uh, give it a test run as well on the reception to see how it uh, performs and this uh, this building kit was sent uh, to me by my friend uh, Andrea in the uh, uniform Alpha Papachari for which I'm uh, very grateful for it nice kit it comes only with a schematic and a uh, part list and a picture of the PCB where the components are placed. Be aware that there are some errors uh, in the part list as well on the schematic. If you look on the C24 8 and the 11 it says 100 nanofarad and between the brackets 103 but of course 103 is 10 nanofarads and that should be the components are, are, are indeed 10 nanofarads so the 100 is wrong um, as well on the schematic C4 here below the uh, transistor this one is mentioned in the schematic as 100 microfarad which is of course an ele electrolytic capacitor and it should be 10 nanofarads but as, as long as you keep the the component coding between the brackets in mind and look for the components with those uh, running on it it should be okay well I'm going to give uh, some power supply on it from a small 9 volt battery Let's see how it does. Hook it up to this small 9 volt battery. And you can see there's some contesting uh, going on. I would prefer uh, hooking it up to a battery rather than a power supply. If you hook it up to a power supply, which I can do. Then you will notice. Well, you might not notice it. It does work, but you you, you get an uh, elevated uh, noise floor because of the stabilization circuit in the power supply. Every piece of noise or wimple or whatever from the power supply is directly converted into the noise floor of the receptor. So. Best is to use uh, a 9 volt battery or a 12 volt battery, and uh, then it's quite clear the reception. This nice little install pot in the middle can be used for a small frequency adjustment. And uh, I'm going to hook it up to. Uh, my key, my little Junker key, and uh, see what it does on the radio. Well, here we are with the power meter and dummy load uh, connected. Still working on the night fault battery block, and it runs about uh, 200 milliwatts, it's 10 watt position. So the lower scale, and the first line is about half a watt, so it does about a quarter of a, a watt. What you hear on the background is my uh, HF transceiver receiving the signal. Uh, slight click, but it's it's quite a clear signal, so it looks okay. Let's see what it does on nine. Instead of nine volt, we go to twelve volt. Well, you hear the noise coming up from the power supply. 
Uh, the slightly more, about 300 milliwatt. But uh, fair enough to do it on a night volt battery block. Of course, it will drain the block uh, after some usage. But for a QRP transceiver, it's a nice, uh, a nice pile, and should be suitable for working uh, throughout Europe from uh, the Netherlands uh, here. Well, I've now hooked it up uh, onto my uh, signal generator. We're going to see what the sen sensitivity of the uh, device is. Um, first, we'll give some signal to the receiver. Put the frequency band onto 7 megahertz. Well, it nicely, it nicely um, reads out just above seven megahertz, of course, which is correct. And this is about 100 microvolts of RF signal to 50 ohm, which should be okay. Um, we're going down to 30 microvolts, which is okay as well. 10 microvolts three microvolts one microvolt So even with one microphone, I don't know if it's audible on the webcam microphone, but it's uh, I can still hear it, and that's about uh, the lower limit. Then we go uh, up with more signal and see what it does uh, when it gets into overload. At what uh, signal level that happens? Now we're back to 100 microvolts. You can hear that it's a nice double sideband receiver on both sides of the crystal frequency. Uh, you have uh, reception. This is 300 microvolts. This is one millivolt. This is really quite loud. Uh, we're going to 3 millivolt. Well, you hear it's uh, it's going overloaded now. <laughs> so the, the the maximum signal which is normally uh, processed is about 1 millivolt. And uh, well, that's not bad. I did get some uh, signals yesterday evening in the 40 meter contest which put it into overload. So. The, there were signals even uh, louder than one millivolt, but uh, well, you have to just use a, a, a less sensitive headphones for that, <laughs> or uh, put an extra attenuator in the in the antenna lead. So, um, very good, fine business, Andrea. Thank you very much for sending me this. I'm going to put it in the into a nice uh, box rather than uh, just a, a PCB. See if I can find a nice housing for it, including a night fault battery, and uh, hope have some fun with this in real life. Cheerio.